Ever wondered if the keto diet is a weight loss miracle or just another fad? You've probably heard of the ketogenic or keto diet that's been making the rounds in the health and wellness sphere. Its rise in popularity has been nothing short of meteoric, with everyone from celebrities to your next door neighbor singing its praises. But what exactly is this diet, and does it truly hold the key to weight loss success? The keto diet is a bit of a paradox. It's a high fat, very low carb and moderate protein diet. You heard right, a diet that encourages you to eat more fat. Sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? But there's a method to the madness, and it all revolves around a metabolic process known as ketosis. But is it as effective as it's hyped up to be? And are there other potential benefits beyond weight loss? We're here to answer these burning questions and more. Stay tuned as we flip the metabolic switch and dive into the world of keto. Imagine your body as an energy factory. Typically, it uses glucose from carbs for fuel. This is like the factory running on coal. It's efficient, it's easy, and it gets the job done. But what if we run out of coal, or in this case, glucose? Well, our bodies are smart. They don't just shut down when the glucose supply runs low. Instead, they switch to burning a different kind of fuel, one that we have in abundance, fat. This shift is known as ketosis, a metabolic state where the body burns fat for energy due to a lack of readily available glucose. So it's like our factory switching from coal to solar power, a different source but still keeping the lights on. How do we achieve this state? Welcome to the world of the ketogenic or keto diet. This diet is high in fat, very low in carbs, and includes a moderate amount of protein. Picture your plate mostly filled with fats like avocados and olive oil, a good portion of protein like chicken or fish, and just a tiny corner reserved for carbs. The idea is to limit the intake of carbs drastically. So, instead of reaching for that readily available glucose, your body has no choice but to flip the metabolic switch and start burning fat. It's like forcing our factory to go solar because we've stopped supplying coal. But wait, doesn't this go against everything we've been told about fat being bad for us? Well, not all fats are created equal. The keto diet emphasizes healthy fats like those found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and fish, which can contribute to better heart health and other benefits. So we've got this high-fat, low-carb, moderate protein diet, and we've got our bodies flipping the metabolic switch, burning fat instead of glucose. Impressive, right? But does this metabolic magic trick actually help you drop those pounds? Let's find out. And if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. So you've heard keto can make you shed weight like a husky sheds fur in summer. But how true is this? The keto diet is often hailed as a weight loss wonder. It's like the diet equivalent of that friend who always seems to find the best sales. But let's separate the wheat from the chaff, or in this case, the carbs from the fat. Firstly, by limiting your carb intake, you naturally consume fewer calories. That's like eating your cake and having it too, except there's no cake because, you know, it's full of carbs. Secondly, fats and proteins, the main stars of the keto show, tend to keep you satisfied for longer. And when you're not constantly thinking about your next meal, it's easier to avoid those pesky, unplanned snack attacks. The initial weight loss on a keto diet can be pretty impressive too, but let's not get too excited. In the early stages, you're mostly losing water weight because each gram of glycogen, stored carbs, comes with about 3 grams of water. So when you burn through your glycogen stores, you also say goodbye to the water it was keeping company. It's like the diet version of spring cleaning. But as with any fairy tale, there's a but. Studies show mixed results for long-term weight loss success on keto compared to other diets. You see, while keto can help you lose weight initially, Maintaining that weight loss can be as tricky as trying to keep an avocado from turning brown. A review of 13 randomized controlled trials for example, found that people on ketogenic diets lost more weight in the first year than people on low-fat diets. But by the second year, the difference was as significant as the difference between a zucchini and a courgette, which is to say, not significant at all. Another study published in the Journal of American Medical Association found that while individuals on a keto diet did lose more weight initially, they were no more successful at keeping it off after 12 months than those on a standard low-fat diet. It's like running a marathon only to realize you're back where you started. Now, this doesn't mean the keto diet can't work for weight loss. It's just that it might not be the magical, fat-burning unicorn some people make it out to be. And, as we all know, unicorns are pretty, but they're also pretty hard to find. So weight loss, check. But is there more to the keto story? Let's see what else this diet might do for you. The scale isn't the only measure of health, so what other tricks does keto have up its sleeve? 
Now I know we've been talking a lot about weight loss, but let's take a moment to explore the potential benefits of the keto diet that go beyond the scale. First up, blood sugar control. Some people with type 2 diabetes have reported improved blood sugar control on a keto diet. How does that work? Well, by reducing your carb intake, you're also reducing your sugar intake. And less sugar means less work for your insulin, which can lead to improved blood sugar levels. But remember, everyone's body is different. So, if you have diabetes and are considering keto, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider first. Next on our list is neurological health. There's limited but intriguing research suggesting that a ketogenic diet may reduce risk factors for certain neurological conditions. The theory here is that ketones, the energy source your body uses when in ketosis, might provide neuroprotective benefits, helping to strengthen and protect brain cells. But again, the research is still in its early stages, so take this with a grain of salt, or should I say, a pat of butter. Finally, let's talk about cognitive function. Anecdotal evidence suggests that some people experience improved focus and mental clarity when they're in a state of ketosis. The science behind this is still unclear, but it's thought that the brain might work more efficiently on a ketogenic diet. However, more research is definitely needed in this area. So there you have it. While the keto diet is often associated with weight loss, it might also offer additional health benefits from improved blood sugar control to potential neurological protection and even enhanced cognitive function. But remember, these potential benefits are still under investigation, and individual experiences can vary greatly. Sounds like keto is a health wonderland. But hold up, are there any downsides? Stay tuned, as we delve into the potential drawbacks of the keto diet in our next segment. Like a complicated dance routine, keto isn't a fit for everyone. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not because you can't handle it, it's just that everybody is unique, with its own rhythm and pace. Let's get into why. Firstly, the keto diet is quite restrictive, cutting out a lot of common foods. We're talking about your beloved bread, pasta, and even fruits. Yes, fruits. It's like being at a party where they've banned dancing. And for some, sticking to this strict regimen can feel like trying to do the salsa in ski boots. It's doable, but it's no walk in the park, and then there's the small matter of side effects. When you first start keto, you might experience something known as the keto flu. Sounds fun, right? Not so much. It's a charming cocktail of headaches, fatigue, and other flu-like symptoms, as your body adjusts to burning fat for fuel instead of carbs. It's like the morning after the night before, but without the fun memories of the dance-off you won. Now for some folks these hurdles are just a blip on the radar. They power through and they find that the keto diet works wonders for them. But for others, these challenges can be a deal-breaker. And that's okay. Remember, the goal is a healthier you, and there's more than one path up that mountain. Then there are certain health conditions to consider. If you're pregnant or breastfeeding or have certain health issues, the keto diet might not be your best bet. It's like trying to break dance when you've got two left feet, not impossible but potentially tricky. And it's always important to consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet. And let's not forget about the long-term sustainability. While some people can rock the keto lifestyle for years, others might find it's more of a one-hit wonder. It's like learning the Macarena. Fun for a while, but not something you want to do every day. So, keto has its pros and cons. But remember, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's like finding your groove on the dance floor. It might take a few tries, and you might step on some toes along the way, but eventually, you'll find your rhythm. And when you do, it's a pretty sweet feeling. So, is keto the diet superhero we've all been waiting for? Let's do a quick recap of what we've explored today. The ketogenic diet, or keto for short, flips the metabolic switch in our bodies, shifting from burning glucose for energy to burning fat. This can lead to potential weight loss benefits like reduced calorie intake due to limited carbs, increased satiety from fat and protein, and possibly faster initial weight loss due to burning stored glycogen and water weight. But remember folks, keto isn't a solution. It's not for everyone. The restrictive nature of the diet can make it hard for some people to stick to, and it can cause some initial side effects like the notorious keto flu. And let's not forget it's not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding women or people with certain health conditions. Now, beyond weight loss, there are potential health benefits that need more research. Some people with type 2 diabetes have reported improved blood sugar control. There are also some limited studies suggesting reduced risk factors for certain neurological conditions and anecdotal evidence of improved focus and cognitive function. But remember, these potential benefits are just that, potential. More research is, and individual results may vary. 
Before you dive headfirst into a bowl of bacon and avocados, it's essential to consult with a doctor or a registered dietitian. This is especially important if you have pre-existing health conditions. They can help you determine whether the keto diet aligns with your health goals and lifestyle. So in the end, keto can be an effective tool for weight loss and potentially more, but the key is individualization and sustainability. It's not about quick fixes but about finding what works for you long term. Remember your health journey is unique. Do your research, consult with professionals and see if keto aligns with your lifestyle and health goals. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Stay curious, stay informed.